Faithful to the guiding vision, listening to the angel's word, shielding Mary from all slander, guarding Christ, both Son and Lord. Joseph, true and trusting, guide us. Joseph, walk the way with us. On this fifth day of Novena Prayer to St. Joseph, let us reflect on the life of St. Joseph in our examination of dream, discernment, and decision-making, referring to the third section in the Apostolic Letter of Pope Francis on St. Joseph with a Father's Heart. Dream Pope Francis presents his reflection on the four dreams that St. Joseph had in helping him to make the right decisions and protecting Mary and the child Jesus. Dreams in the biblical world are understood as a means of communication between the de divine and the human. It is said that there are 21 dreams recorded in the Bible, most of them in the Old Testament and only six in the New Testament. Unlike Joseph, the patriarch, one of the twelve sons of Jacob in the Old Testament, all the dreams that St. Joseph in the New Testament had were a form of direct instructions from the angels in the dreams of what is going to come. At the same time, the instructions from the angels in the dream could be someone who would counsel Joseph, or maybe he was seeking an answer for his questions about life. There is a famous saying that says, if you want to have a good dream, have a deep sleep. Now, if you want to fulfill your dream, get up and start working on it. The Gospel narrates, Joseph got up and took the child and his mother and went. All of us dream. Some we remember and some we don't. What do we dream about and how do they influence our life? If we really want to fulfill our dreams, we need to get up like St. Joseph, and start working. Let St. Joseph inspire us to fulfill those dreams that we have hidden in our life. Secondly, discernment. Pope Francis writes that, as he had done with Mary, God revealed his saving plan to Joseph. He did so by using dreams with Joseph. Dreaming is not enough. We need to discern what dreams are called to follow. Discernment is a process of listening to yourself, to others, and to our re reality of life. In discernment, we look for a spiritual guidance that helps us to make the right decisions following the plan of God. As St. Paul often prayed for the gift of discerning of spirits, it is a process that takes time, deep prayer and reflection, and proper consultation. The angel in the dreams that Joseph had gives him all instructions and that Joseph takes the right steps according to the counsel that he receives. 
the angels also warn him not to fall into temptations or ignoring the, his responsibilities. Sometimes discernments help us not to do what we are we may be planning to do. For example, in the life of Saint Joseph, when he finds out about Mary's mysterious pregnancy, he wants to dismiss her quietly. But the angel advises him to do the opposite. In discernment, we are called to be completely open to God's way of living our life and to take those roads of life that may take us home where we are safe and secure in God's plan. And lastly, deciding. We can dream, we can discern, but we need to decide. Quite often we dream and we take a long time in the process of discernment, but often hesitant to decide and take actions. The life of Joseph, being the head of the family, filled him with many responsibilities that involved many decisions for the safety of the mother and the child. One of the key aspects of every decision making is obedience to God's will. Pope Francis, uh, speaking about Joseph as an obedient father, always remained faithful to God's commandment and remained righteous before God's presence. In every situation, Joseph declared his own fiat, like those of Mary at the Annunciation and Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. Joseph taught Jesus to be obedient to his parents and always follow and remain faithful to God's will. Today, as we reflect on the life of Saint Joseph, in relation to following our dreams, entering into discernment process, and taking responsible decisions in life, we ask St. Joseph to intercede for us and guide us so that we can remain faithful and obedient to God's will. And let this prayer of Pope Francis may lead us into the Novena prayer. Let us pray. Hail, Guardian of the Redeemer, Spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you God entrusted His only Son. In you Mary placed her trust. With you Christ became human. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a Father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace mercy and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Theme 5, Joseph Most Prudent, Listening to the Voice of God O Lord, open our hearts, that we may receive your graces. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, Wise men from the east came to Jerusalem to pay homage to Jesus. Now after they had left, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up, take the child and his mother, and flee to Egypt, and remain there until I tell you, for Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. Then Joseph got up, took the child and his mother by night, and went to Egypt and remained there until the death of Herod. This was to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet, Out of Egypt I have called my son. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let the Word of God lead us into a short reflection. How do I listen to the voice of God? Where is God speaking to me now in my life? How do I make important decisions in my life? 
Do I ask God's guidance in the decisions of my life? Let us pray. Good Saint Joseph, you are attentive to listening to God's voice speaking to you. Open our hearts that we may be able to listen to God speaking to us and stand beside us when we make decisions in our life. When your family was in danger, following the promptings of the Spirit, you protected them and guarded them in a safe place. Help us, O good Saint Joseph, that we may not ignore the promptings of the Spirit. Rather, seek to do God's will in our life. When we are afraid, angry, or threatened, we may not forget to come back to God and find protection and safety in His love. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph be with us on our journey of life. Amen. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Jesus, hear us. Jesus, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven. Have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Renowned offspring of David. Pray for us. Light of patriarchs. Pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God. Pray for us. Chaste guardian of the Virgin. Pray for us. Foster father of the Son of God. Pray for us. Diligent protector of Christ. Pray for us. Head of the Holy Family. Pray for us. Joseph most just. Pray for us. Joseph most chaste. Pray for us. Joseph most prudent. Pray for us. Joseph most strong. Pray for us. Joseph most obedient. Pray for us. Joseph most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of patience. Pray for us. Lover of poverty. Pray for us. Model of artisans. Pray for us. Glory of home life. Pray for us. Guardian of virgins. Pray for us. Pillar of families. Pray for us. Solace of the wretched. Pray for us. Hope of the sick. Pray for us. Patron of the dying. Pray for us. Terror of demons. Pray for us. Protector of holy church. Pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Jesus. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Jesus. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, O Jesus. Let us pray. O God, in your ineffable providence, you are pleased to choose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother. Grant, we beg you, that we may be worthy to have him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector. You, who live and reign forever and ever, Memorare to St. Joseph Remember, O most chaste spouse of the Virgin Mary, that never has it been known that anyone who asked for your help and sought your intercession was left unaided. Full of confidence in your powerful intercession, I hasten to you and beg your protection. Listen, O foster father of the Redeemer, to my humble prayer, and in your goodness hear and answer me. Amen. May Almighty God bless us, keep us from all evil, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen.